if you're running down the street and you suddenly see a house that's smoking like that and is on fire, you have two options. You can think about it a little bit and you can either do one, you can decide, yeah, who cares and just keep on running. I mean, hopefully the smoke alarm will wake them up and, you know, they'll be safe. Or two, you can run toward the house and make sure that everybody's safe inside and everything's going all right. And then, you know, if they don't answer, you know, run up to the house, run in, you know, warn them about the fires to save them. It's like a weekly surge of energy. See, any good person would run up to the house and go inside and tell the people inside that there's a fire, that their life is in danger because we want to save people. We don't want them to get lost. We don't want them to die in a fire because we didn't do anything about it. And that's the same thing with us as Christians. We have a mission, and that mission is to go make disciples of all nations. See, Jesus said that right before he rose up in the last time he was on earth and so that's our mission it, it's kind of it's just like being in the fire just like the people in the fire they didn't know that their house was on fire that they were in danger and the guy had to tell them so that they can run out and save themselves and that's that's the same thing with Christians we need to tell the people that don't know that they're in danger they don't know that they are going to face punishment from God. They don't know that, and we need to tell them that. That's what that's what our mission is, and that's what I want to challenge with you you to, with today. And just go share the good news. Let people know about it because their life is in danger if you don't. And with that, I want to share with you a personal experience that I have with sharing the good news. See, the last couple of years I've been involved in prison ministries, and it's very very it's it's I like it. I really do. And the, now the first time that I went, I was a little bit scared because it's, it's a little bit scary to tell people about Jesus. I mean, we might be a little bit afraid of what they're going to think about us if we say something. But here's the thing, it doesn't really matter what they think about us. It only matters about their eternity, where they're going to end up in life after they die, where they're going to end up and That's what matters. And you need to focus on that. You need to focus on that. You need to focus on God as well. See, I tried to do it all by my own knowledge. I was like, well, I'm smart. I know all this stuff about the Bible. So I can just go in and I can tell people about Jesus Christ. But I tried to do it my, on my own power, and it did not work. Just simply did not work. My conversations, they weren't clicking. I couldn't connect with people. It was just like, I don't know, like talking to a brick wall maybe a little bit. But anyway, I did something and that's what I did was I surrendered everything to God. I died to myself. I was like, well, I can't do this, but God can. And so I gave God the authority just to talk through me, just, you know, to help me. And you know what, well, you know what happened? I had this really, really great conversation with this one guy because I asked God to do it for me. I asked God to speak through me. And it was really great because this guy was not a Christian when I was talking to him. But after I left, he decided to give his life to Christ. And it's just an amazing thing being able to help someone to know that their life is at stake, to help them know that they need Jesus. And that's what it's all about. That's what our mission on earth is about as Christians. We need to go make disciples of all nations. And I just want to ask you before we quit here is, what, what are some things that you're afraid of when you go and talk to people? Just let me know in the comment section below and also I do have another recommendation I want to say and that is the Way of the Master DVD series I talked about it I think last week in my episode and I again I want to recommend it to you it's a really really good series that helps you kind of get over your fear of talking to people and helps you to know how to say it in the way that the way Jesus did the way Jesus led people to Christ <laughs> to himself so anyway leave your interesting responses in the comment section below about what what are your fears or what do you are you afraid of when you talk to people about Christ okay guys so this is a wizard goal of the week is this to make it your mission to share the gospel and this is the eighth eighth video so it's the eighth goal and the main thing about this is don't be afraid to go share Christ with other people because sharing Christ with other people is one of our biggest commandments, one of the things that God wants each one of us to do. That Every Christian is called to evangelize. Not all of us are called to preach in front of a lot of people, but we're called to evangelize, to tell people about Jesus Christ, to tell people about their sins that they've committed and that they are 
bound to go to hell if they don't do something about it. It's as simple as that. So that's each of our mission is to share the gospel. So that's my challenge to you is to share the gospel to your neighbor. I mean, to anybody that you know that needs it. Don't be afraid to share it. And the verses that I had got to go along with this, uh, this is Matthew 28. Now, this is right before Jesus actually rose from the earth. You know, all his disciples were gathered around him, and he just simply rose like an elevator. And so that's it's right before he go, de- raises from the earth and everything. Right before, the, this is what he says. He says, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. See, he has a a thing for us to do, a commandment for us to do, a mission for us to do, and that mission is to go and make disciples of all nations. It's like, um, did you ever want to be a CIA agent or something where you have to go solve these mysteries, you have these missions that you you gotta solve these different things, and you gotta or a missions, different missions where you gotta capture someone from something else, or like rescue people, or whatever it is. See, this is our mission. This is the Christian's mission. It's like being a CIA officer, or whatever you want to call them. But this is more important. This is for eternity. And this is what you were all called to do. And so he gives us this this thing to do, this mission. And then after that, he gave he gives us a very big thing as well I'll be with you through this mission I will help you accomplish this mission it says I am with you always to the very end of the age so Jesus will be with you always if you go out and make it your mission you follow the mission that he set for each one of us to make go, go and make disciples of all nations so my question is, are you going to do something about it? Now that you know it, you, well, you should have known it beforehand, but now that I brought it out again, brought it to light, do something about it. Go tell people about Christ. It's as simple as that. Well, there's more to it, but anyway, if you want to learn how to actually teach like Jesus did to get people to share the gospel with people the way Jesus did, then... There is something I want to recommend to you. I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but below this video, there will be a link to the Way of the Master DVD series. And they, in that series, they show you how to teach people how to share the gospel the way Jesus did. And it's really, really good. I, I re- totally recommend you to go check it out. Now's the part of the show where we share with you the biblical joke of the week. Okay guys, the biblical joke for this week actually comes from a lay pastor in our church. Now he doesn't actually know I'm going to put this on for the biblical joke, so he told told it to me like a couple weeks ago. And this, this is what he said. See in Genesis, in the first chapter, see God and his angels apparently were playing baseball or something, maybe with Satan and his angels or something, because it says in the big inning. I know it's lame, but it's kind of funny in a way. The beginning, the beginning, the beginning, whatever. We'll take it. I need you to submit your favorite biblical joke so that I can have it on the show. You can either contact me through the wizife.com website or you can create a video response to this video on YouTube. This has been the Wizife Show. I'm Justin Miller and I'm out. I would not stay.